Hi everyone, this is um, my second Talk To Me Tuesday video. It is um, Wednesday, May 3rd. Um, I wasn't able to do it yesterday. I'm hoping the project I'm going to do about show you that um, hopefully I'm almost completed with um, shows up. This is the third time I've had to change places to <laughs> try to get good lighting. This is kind of dark. It's a gift that I've been making for my sister and her, my brother-in-law um, since before Christmas. And it's their very much belated, delayed Christmas gift. So, uh, but I've been doing it all by hand. So, um, hopefully, you can see it here. Uh, it's a uh, needle, but um, it was very dark to show up. But um, this was uh, a wall hanging that I'm making. And it is actually, um, it's going to be pretty big. Um, I'm almost to the point where I'm just doing kind of like the border area almost, except for this one part right here. I have this part to do, and then see, I still have the, the border area. Uh, this is actually a piece of fabric that I purchased from, um, what is it? longarmconnection.com and the woman has several different designs on different color fabrics and um, so I didn't actually have to you know stencil or not stencil but you didn't have to um, you know trace all this stuff on the fabric and uh, it supposedly washes out um, but I found out that um, most of the, the um, the thread is going over the part anyway, so I'm not quite sure, depending on what it looks like when I get done with it, if I'm actually going to wash or not. Um, except for, of course, the one area where they have, um, where she has all of her the writing there. I'm going to, um, uh, to uh, obviously need to wash that part. But this is, this is a 16 and a half inch rose. Mealing tulips with a curved cross hatching. If anyone likes it, it's by um, by Sue Schmeiden. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce her last name, but it's um, if you go to longarmconnection.com, she's got several other designs with different colors and stuff like that. So um, I hope they like it. I'm hoping to get it completed this week. Um, because I don't have classes because my semester's over um, and uh, but yeah so check out the website uh, I had also purchased a couple of things as well so as you can tell I I moved again to where I had all my other stuff uh, previously and if you watched my video from last week you'll know I was working on a counted cross stitch project and here's what it's supposed to look like it's a, a card but um, uh, but I got a little too close to the edges of it. But here's what it looks like. And I only made a few mistakes on it, but I think it turned out really good. Um, so since I won't be, I won't be able to make it into a car because it's too close here to the edge. But what I'm thinking of doing is cutting this part here and making it into a bookmark. Um, it is raveling here. Um, so I was thinking perhaps of doing a buttonhole stitch all around it, and then hopefully that will prevent it. I also purchased some, um, some stuff that's supposedly supposed to help of not raveling, um, but I'm going to, I think, try to do the buttonhole stitch and hope that that helps, um, because I think that might kind of decorate it up. Um, and I had found a charity that does um, kind of cross stitch and quilting stuff together um, and they have items that go for uh, senior citizens and also uh, kids who are sick and so I had over um, quite a while ago I had purchased this one bookmark and so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make this for them and um, I yesterday I went to Joanne's and I also picked this up. So I thought the little kids would like that. Um, 
because you can make bookmarks, you can make um, a little um, squares to have them be put in tote bags or wheelchair tote bags. Um, they also have ones that are put into quilts. The ones that they need for quilts usually have a particular theme that the, the person, the recipient wants. Um, but then I found um, one magazine called Just Cross Stitch. And um, I thought it was kind of cute. It has a lot of different uh, items and um, I thought this one was pretty. So I'm thinking of uh, doing a couple of different ideas from um, from them. Um, I hadn't really paid any attention that much to the cross stitch magazines or anything because most of it's most of it um, that I've just been doing has been quilting and stuff. But uh, some of them had two patterns. Like this one with a little turtle. This is bath time. And then they have a Another one, the turtle is getting all ready and time to eat. He's hungry, so uh, so I thought maybe this might give me some inspiration to uh, have different patterns to work on different ones for kids and for seniors. Um, and they're uh, wanting not only stuff for children and for uh, women, of course, who are seniors, but also for men, too. Um, so I did find, um, one, oh, and I didn't bring it over here with me, um, but I did find yesterday at Joanne's, I found a little kit that had, um, that says Navy, and it says Anchors Away, and it's got, um, C symbol and Navy emblems and stuff like that. It was only $1.97, so you can't beat that. So I thought that, that might be something, um, that maybe guys would like, and maybe I could make part of the design into uh, a bookmark. Um, and then I found this other magazine. It's a UK magazine. It's called Cross Stitch Crazy. And so here's what it looked like. But for any fans of anyone who is a fan of Prince William and um, I guess now the Duchess of um, Cambridge, um, of course being from the UK, they had stuff with them. And, um, so they had a few patterns with them, uh, in here. They had one that, uh, they had this one. I don't know if you can see. They have that one. And then, um, they had another one that I thought was really, really cute. Um, it's kind of like a, like an invitation. I'm trying to find it here. I should really, um bookmark these somewhat or something. <laughs> oh, here was the other one. It's kind of like a, a memento kind of I thought it looks kinda of like an invitation type thing. Um but uh but I thought it was cute. And then they have several other designs in here. And um I don't know, maybe they like a lot of boiled eggs or something um, in Britain with their tea or something because they had all, uh, tons of different designs for egg cozies. Uh, um, I do like tea but I don't um, I don't uh, really eat eggs but, but they had all these different ones so for anyone who likes eggs and stuff like that but they, they have several other ones and some of the, the patterns they say um, you know, like how long it's going to take, which I thought that, that was a, a cool idea. They said, you know, this one might take, you know, so many hours or whatever. Um, I thought that, that was good. It was kind of weird though because they didn't do that on all of their patterns, but you know, whatever. Um, and then here's another one that I thought was pretty. Uh, but with the magazine, they also had some extras. Um, and I don't know if they usually do that because. Um, it's supposed to be like a, I don't know, the 150th edition or something like that. So they had all these celebrating things about the magazine in there. But they also had um, this little card with this character called the Fizzy Moon. I don't know if it was a character from Britain or just with the magazine, but it came with this little card. So, um, oh, and the charity also takes cards. 
So I thought, well, maybe um, I was thinking of making this one and thought maybe a kid might like it because it's got a little, little bear on it. And then they also had this pattern available. I thought that was cute. So um, that's all I have. Not a whole lot. Um, but I'm hoping to uh, have a few items done next week and, um, and I'll show them next week. I hope everyone has a great week and great weekend and um, see you next week.